Hello from Alpha Cars. This is Dimitri, and we're gonna check out 1991 Datsun uh, utility truck. This particular utility truck was built for a Japanese uh, fire department for the small town in Japan, and uh, it has incredibly low miles. And the condition of this uh, Datsun is simply incredible. And yes, it is Datsun right there. For those of you that think it's a Nissan. Not that it's a huge difference, but this particular one is a Datsun 4x4. Uh, it's a quad cab and the steering wheel for additional excitement is located on the right hand side. The interior condition is incredibly nice and clean with no imperfections except for this one little crease right here. The rest of the interior is incredible. It's literally like a new vehicle, and I'll point out, which is common on these, the um, plastic frames around the vents, they wrinkled a little bit, which is typical for this vintage uh, Datsons and Nissans. Uh, the heating system works awesome. Everything on the truck actually works awesome. There's almost nothing to break. Uh, for those of you that worry about the air conditioning, it is not going to break because it doesn't have it. It's a very simple truck and it does have a rear window defroster actually I just noticed. The rear seat is everything is brand new. The condition of the body, the cab is impeccable. When you look at it, it's like brand new. Uh what we know about these types of fire trucks that they were ordered from Datsun for the specific town and they were then refinished professionally refinished uh, with industrial uh, duty paint they did an awesome paint job it's nicely nicely done the finish consistency and texture is the same as uh, on a new Datsun and then the best part of this vehicle is when we look in uh, under the truck it is simply incredible it is simply like new and we have uh, another video to show the underbody of this truck but just with what I'm showing you now you can get an idea that this is a very very special uh, condition the bed is something to talk about it is a utility bed that currently is customized as a support vehicle for a fire department team uh, there's an uh, like embedded uh, cargo area, almost like an in, a major indent uh, that is fabricated in the truck body. Uh, and you can easily uh, stand here. As you can see, it's all heavy duty stuff. Um, and it looks like it was used for an extra uh, hose, possibly. Uh, and then the hooks would be mounted here and they would go through this opening in the uh, toner cover. Oh, canopy. The canopy is actually very nice, thick, uh, feels thick, but it's actually very flexible material. There's a utility uh, box right here. And there's plenty of uh, wooden slots in there. It's all in great shape. I love the upper part, there's additional cargo area or it could be easily converted to an unofficial seating surface uh, where you could have two people for like an off-road or beach environment at low speed, like walking speed for, addition, for, for safety. Um, these are adapters that can be easily removed there for the hose tips for the fire department team. Uh, there are hooks here. As you can see, everything is in great shape. There's no rust anywhere. And that is the best part of this truck. Wait until we get into the engine compartment. There would be another oh my god scene. Let's talk about this uh, system right here. It's actually a uh, utility equipment uh, utility equipment bracket. And the way it works is that you um, unlatch that now you can thanks guys thank you very much now you can slide this back and check this out there's there are roller bearings and it stops at these hooks right here boom can't go any further so now you have it 
okay, so what do you do with it and why do you need it? You may not need it, but the fire department people, they need it because uh, this allows one uh, or two people easily, uh, relatively easy, get their pumps or generator back and forth. So this bottom bracket can be removed and you see those four holes in it. So you bolt your equipment to this bracket. So now two people can grab the equipment, lift that up easily, put it in here. You see, put it in here, slide it in like this, which locks that up. And then one person at this point can lift this up and roll that in. It's got roll. It's got true roller bearing. Roll that in all the way. Boom. Now you don't have to tie it down. You don't have to secure it. All you do, you place this pin. So now the whole system is locked in. Isn't that brilliant? Simple and brilliant. So this is an awesome vehicle for. Uh, a small contractor for a landscape team it's a five-speed manual transmission so it's also fun to drive while on the way to the job let's pop the hood and let's take a look at the engine compartment bay everything is so incredibly clean right here check this out Okay, we have the hood up. We have a lot of writing. Uh, at Google Translate did a great job, and it's a typical information that you see on the under the hood uh, under the hood sticker. Look at the condition. We did not even wipe this down. Look at the condition of the engine bay. It is simply insane. And as we get deeper and look at the frame. Even the exhaust pipe looks nice and fresh. The exhaust manifold, the heat shield, everything is in impeccable condition. Look at all the clamps. Anodized coating is still present on all the parts. Even the wing nut on the air filter housing. Look at this cute little battery. It cranks it right over, it starts right up and it runs beautiful. Obviously, it has not been in any accidents or any body work was done other than when it was new, it was refinished in industrial red color. We're gonna start this up. Let's make sure it is in neutral, and it is. We're gonna step on the clutch. Clutch is nice and smooth. Idles beautiful absolutely beautiful and again I cannot get over how clean everything is nice fresh blizzard Revo 960 tires with incredible amount of original uh, probably like new tires but let's hear this engine it runs like a squeeze clock there are two belts with manual adjusters it has power steering so there's belt for power steering and there's an alternator water pump belt that's it let's uh, rev the engine up a little bit trying to get to the cable yeah it's running at 2000 nice and smooth probably around 3000 four That's a beautiful running engine. All the original mounting clamps. Radiator support. No signs of interactions with firm objects or bodywork. So we have ourselves an awesome vehicle. It picked up idle a little bit because uh, the engine temperature is cold when it fully warms up it drops it down 
So we invite you to visit our website, alphacars.com, A-L-P-H-A-C-A-R-S.com. See if this vehicle is available. This is not the first Japanese fire truck that we sell. This is probably the, uh, the best one for everyday driving because I would take this vehicle and I actually had it for a few days and you can just drive it like a normal uh, pickup truck. It has room for five comfortably. Everybody waves to you. You can bring all kinds of gear with you. You can certainly set up a couple of bicycles on the side and a bunch inside. And uh, if it's a low speed uh, off-road, maybe somewhere in the property operation, you can certainly uh, comfortably sit right here and uh, you're gonna have a cover under your head in the form and shape of this beautiful canopy. It also has a spotlight, which works. The rear bumper is nice and heavy duty with the tail lights embedded in the heavy duty housings. I don't think they ever gonna get broken. And as I said, all these additional brackets, they can be removed or relocated for the uses you have. There's a massive heavy-duty bracket for ladder. You can uh, place the ladder and then secure it. It's not gonna go anywhere. The condition of the truck is incredibly clean. If you look on the, along the side, no dents, nothing in the front. The bottom lip is nice and clean. Same here. Yeah, look at the door jams, super clean. Look at all the little plastic hardware, everything is original. Door latch, everything is like brand new. The seat is nice and firm throughout. Seat belts are, everything is like brand new. The light works awesome. And it drives great. It shifts through all the gears, the the shifting system, the shifting le uh, the transmission, the shifter leather lever is <laughs> reminds me of BMW one because it's nice and crisp. It pops in gear. You can actually feel how the gears just pop right in. Here's the reverse, and you can see how the clutch works. The clutch is effortless. There's like literally no effort to the clutch. Nothing. And as I release it, you can see it grabs nicely right around here. There's a nice little mirror. I love that mirror on the side because you're able to see your wheel, uh, your left rear wheel. You can point it down more if you wanted to. So. Uh, let's take it around the building a lot of torque and I love the fact that it has power steering So the vehicle has 16,598 kilometers about 10,000 miles It feels like it's low mileage almost a new vehicle It feels awesome. It drives really really nice Yeah, look at all the detail. It's everything is just like new. All the boots, no cracks, material is nice and soft. I don't think we're gonna pick up that many stations here. They're all different. The cigarette lighter, uh, cigarette lighter, brand new. Blow motor, nice and warm. So we hope you enjoyed the video from Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.